Hello, YouTubers! Well, I just came across this old camera. It's the very first digital camera I ever had. It's a Kodak EasyShare C310. And, well, it was my first digital camera. Pretty crappy thing. Very, very cheap and has a super small screen and a has also a viewfinder, but that's pretty much a hole where you just look through the machine. Has uh, four megapixels. The photos are pretty good, even though it well, it doesn't have any zoom. Um, I think it doesn't really have any focus. It's I think it's a fixed focus. It also has a video mode, but that's pretty useless because it doesn't record any sound. And I just noticed that, unlike most of uh, today's small electronics, you actually have screws that you can take out. And due to the fact that I no longer use this thing here, I thought, let's try and take out those screws and try to take a look inside to see what's in there. And after removing five small screws and two longer ones, the front part simply comes off. And you can see the inside. The biggest thing in here really is the battery compartment. And um, this is a big capacitor which um, runs the flash. The image sensor circuit board is below there. It's pretty small. And then there is one. <laughs> this is the button for making the photo. And well, let's try to take it apart further. And after taking out five more screws, the back part comes off and well, you can see the LCD screen and all that stuff. Two integrated circuits and well, the circuit board is bigger than I thought it would be. Because from the front side you can't see too much of that circuit board. This is the jack for... Uh, I don't know how they call that. Kodak has such a special system where you put the camera into some some part and then you can like print the photos with a Kodak printer. One interesting thing is on the display it says Casio and that is another um, brand that produces cameras. So maybe this was actually made by Casio. Now there you can see the uh, optics and this is interesting. You can see there this little gear, which is glued in its place. This really looks like um, if you would mount a motor to this, you could actually like do a zoom. Really interesting. Or maybe it's the gear for like the focus, autofocus, or whatever. Really interesting. This is, yeah, you can really see the viewfinder is just some kind of a hole. Pretty cheap. And yeah, that, that's what you'll find inside a modern digital camera. Well, look at this. I was able to turn the camera on without its housing, put in a couple of batteries. There you can see it. Right now it's in the video mode, which, well, I already told you, unfortunately it does not record any sound. And also it saves the video in some, like, weird file types that you first have to put into a converter. Okay, just went off. Or, no, the display went off. Uh, I think it does that if you're not using it for some time. Let's try that. Press here. Uh, oh, there it goes. And there it goes again. 
by turning this thing up here you can also try ah now it's in the photo mode this is the off position and around here it goes to some stupid feature called you know where you can put in your favorite photos <laughs> There were also some demo photos in there, but I deleted them all. <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> I guess that's it. Okay, don't worry. The camera still works. So, there you have it. The inside of a cheap digital camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.